we can all evaluate an area in our life that we make a habit of making choices that don't support our decisions. Take control of your career and compensation right now. It's your five minute career cat. Did you know that you have 60 to 80,000 thoughts a day? You have thousands of choices to make every single day. And as your level of responsibility increases, so does the multitude of choices you have to make. It is estimated that the average adult makes anywhere between 30 to 35,000 remotely conscious decisions each day. So join me as we dig deeper into decision leadership. Decision making is a leadership skill that is used to assess a situation and determine how to proceed. The decision making process involves three steps. You could choose to write these down. Number one, identifying the challenge, discovering the issue, and determining the circumstances that led to the situation. Now I'll repeat that for you. Identifying the challenge, discovering the issue, and determining the circumstances that led to the situation. Now let's put this in practice. I'm gonna give you some simple examples. We'll put some other names. We won't put yours, all right? So Tom is about to get evicted from his apartment. He is concerned that he can't pay his rent this month because he chose to take advantage of the Southwest Airlines getaway deal. And he also has noticed that he often can't say no to online deals, even though he can't afford it and has more important obligations. All right, give you another example. Sam, Sam is late with deadlines often because he doesn't seek to understand the assignment. He often underestimates the time it'll take to get the required assignment complete. Now, because Sam isn't interested in all of those details in the beginning, he's often late. Now, are you all following me? All right. So I don't know if you all remember the song by Black Sheep. It is an old 90s hip hop group and it goes, you can get with this or you can get with that. Right. So you can't be late and on time at the same time. Right. You have to make a choice or choices that support your decision to be on time. Now, you can't be on a budget and not follow the budget and expect to afford things that exceed your income. Now, I'm sure you're chuckling. It's very easy to chuckle at Sam and Tom, right? But we can all evaluate an area in our life that we make a habit of making choices that don't support our decisions. Are you seeing the difference here? Okay, so that's why it's important to understand decision leadership, because it really starts with self. We can look sideways and talk about decisions other people make, but that's not what we're doing this week. Let's commit to getting better and monitoring our habits, the outcomes of our choices, and setting boundaries with ourselves. It starts with being aware of the choices that are in front of you every day. And we already talked about the speed that they come at us, right? Very rapid speed. So this week, I'm going to give you some homework versus hacks, okay, which I hope will reveal some patterns in your daily decision making. So if you're old school, take out a sheet of paper. If you're digital native, go ahead and pull out whatever app that you like. And I want you to answer this for the next seven days. We're going to create a habit of assessing this. Here's a question you're going to answer. How did the choices I made today support X? X is the goal. Then write tomorrow, I'm deciding to do X to get closer to or continue to support my decision to do fill in the blank. Now, let's check in next episode on how simple this practice influenced your decision leadership, okay? So remember, nobody knows but you, but you can get with this or you can get with that. Now, the five-minute career hack, we call this hacking. Look at you. You just did it. And you don't have to stop here. Take one step every week and ensure that you are pouring into you and getting closer to your career goals. Yep. See that button down there? hit subscribe, but don't stop there because you know what they say, sharing is caring. So take five and we'll see you next week.